This video is here to show you how to use the long division method when the divisor is a two digit number. Let's have a go at dividing 322 by 14. The dividend or number we are dividing is 322. We are dividing by 14, so 14 is our divisor, and the quotient will be the answer to the calculation. When we divide by a two digit number, it's a good idea to list the first 10 multiples of our divisor first. So we have these facts to hand. Here are the first multiples of 14 up to 10 times 14. To do this, think about the times tables and maths knowledge that could help you. In this case, the seven times tables is really useful because if you double seven, you get 14. So the 14 times table is double the seven times table. These multiples of 14 will be really useful when completing our division calculation. Unlike with addition, subtraction, and multiplication, when we start with the smallest value digit, when we divide, we start with the largest value digit. In this three digit number, that is the hundreds digit. First, divide the hundreds. Three hundreds divided by 14 equals zero hundreds with three hundreds still remaining. We do not need to write a zero in our answer because we don't use leading zeros in whole numbers. We subtract the zero hundreds we have already divided from the three hundreds that we started with, which leaves us with three hundreds. These hundreds are exchanged for 30 tens and are added to the two tens from 322, giving us 32 tens. Next, divide the tens. If we look at our multiples of 14, we can see that 32 tens divided by 14 equals two tens, because two lots of 14 equals 28, and we have a remainder of four tens. We write the two in the tens column of the answer above the line. When we subtract the 28 tens we have shared equally from the 32 tens we started with, we have four tens remaining. The remaining four tens are exchanged for 40 ones and are added to the two ones from 322, giving us 42 ones. Finally, divide the ones. We can see that the 42 ones divided by 14 equals three ones because three lots of 14 equals 42. When we subtract the 42 ones we have divided from the 42 ones we had, we have no remainder. Therefore, 322 divided by 14 equals 23. Now it's your turn. Let's work through this division calculation together. The calculation is 864 divided by 16. How would we set this out as a long division calculation? Well, first of all, we need to list the multiples of 16. Pause here and write the first 10 multiples of 16. Think carefully about which times table would help you with this. Did you get the multiples of 16 up to 10 times 16? Here they are. You may have used your eight times table to help you because 16 is double eight. So the 16 times table is double the eight times table. First, divide the hundreds. Pause here and complete this step. Eight hundreds divided by 16 equals zero hundreds, remainder eight hundreds. Did you write all the digits in the correct place? Next, divide the tens. Don't forget to include the tens from the dividend. Pause here and complete this step. 86 tens divided by 16 equals five tens, remainder six tens. Did you complete this step correctly? And finally, divide the ones. Pause here to complete this step. 64 ones divided by 16 equals four. Ones remainder zero ones. What is our answer or quotient when 864 is divided by 16? 864 divided by 16 equals 54. I hope that this video has helped you to understand how to use the long division method when the divisor is a two digit number with no remainder. If you're looking for any more videos just like this one, make sure you head to the Twinkle website to check them out. See you next time. This video is here to show you how to use the long division method when the divisor is a two digit number. Before we start, let's familiarize ourselves with some of the mathematical vocabulary that we use when carrying out division calculations. When carrying out a division calculation, if the answer or the quotient is not a whole number, then we have some left over. This is called the remainder. 
Let's start by using long division to divide 3,786 by 15. 3,786 is the number we are dividing, so this is our dividend, and the divisor or number which we are dividing by is 15. When we divide by a two-digit number, it's a really good idea to list the first multiples of our divisor first, so that we have these facts to hand. To help us to find the multiples of 15, we could use our knowledge of the 5 and 10 times tables. If we add together the multiple of 5 and the multiple of 10, we get the multiple of 15. Here are the multiples of 15 up to 10 times 15. Unlike with addition, subtraction and multiplication, when we start with the smallest value digit, when we divide, we start with the largest value digit. In this four digit number, that is the thousands digit. First, divide the thousands. Three thousands divided by 15 equals zero thousands with three thousands remaining. We write our quotient or answer above the line. Our answer has zero thousands, so we don't need to write it in because we don't use leading zeros in whole numbers. When we subtract the zero thousands we have already divided from the three thousands we started with, it leaves us with three thousands. These three thousands are exchanged for thirty hundreds and are added to the seven hundreds from the three thousand seven hundred and eighty six we started with, giving us thirty seven hundreds. Next, divide the hundreds. 37 hundreds divided by 15 equals 2 hundreds, and I have a remainder of 7 hundreds. So we write a 2 in the hundreds column of our answer. The remaining 7 hundreds are exchanged for 70 tens and added to the 8 tens from the 3,786 we started with, giving us 78 tens altogether. Next, divide the tens. 78 tens divided by 15 equals five tens with a remainder of three tens. So we write five in the tens column of our answer. The remaining three tens are exchanged for 30 ones and added to the six ones from the 3,786 we started with, giving us 36 ones altogether. 36 ones divided by 15 equals two ones with six ones remaining. So we write a two in the ones column of our answer. The six remaining ones are left over, so become our remainder. We write this with a lowercase r after the whole number answer like this. 3,786 divided by 15 equals 252 remainder six. Now it's your turn. Let's work through this division calculation together. The calculation is 2,578 divided by 18. How would we set this out as a division calculation? Well, first of all, we need to list the multiples of 18. Pause here and write the first 10 multiples of 18. Think carefully about which times tables could help you with this. Did you get the first 10 multiples of 18? Here they are. You may have used your 9 times table to help you because 18 is double 9. So the 18 times table is double the 9 times table. First, divide the thousands. Pause here and complete this step. Two thousands divided by 18 equals zero remainder two thousands. Did you write all the digits correctly? Next, divide the hundreds. Don't forget to include the hundreds from the dividend. Pause here and complete this step. Twenty-five hundreds divided by 18 equals 100 remainder seven hundreds. Next, divide the tens. Pause here and complete this step. 77 tens divided by 18 equals four tens, remainder five tens. Did you complete this step correctly? And finally, divide the ones. Pause here to complete this step. 58 ones divided by 18 equals three ones, remainder four ones. Where do we write the remaining four ones? Excellent. 2,578 divided by 18 equals 143, remainder four. Now it's time for a challenge. You need to find out which digits are missing from each of the boxes in the division calculation. Pause the video here and have a go. Well done if you identified the missing numbers. 
I hope that this video has helped you to understand how to use the long division method when dividing by a two digit number with a remainder. If you want to find any videos just like this one, make sure you head to the Twinkle website to check them out. See you next time. This video is here to show you how to use the long division method, giving the answer as a decimal. When the quotient or answer to a division calculation is given as a decimal, the remainder is regrouped as a decimal in the same way that the whole numbers are. Let's start by using the long division method to divide 424 by 16. Our dividend, the number which we are dividing, is 424, and we are dividing by 16, so 16 is our divisor. When we divide by a two-digit number, it's a good idea to list the first multiples of our divisor first, up to 10 times, so we have these facts to hand. To help us to find the multiples of 16, we could use our knowledge of the 8 times tables. If we double 8, we get 16, so we can double the 8 times table to get the 16 times table. Here are the multiples of 16 up to 10 times 16. Unlike with addition, subtraction and multiplication, where we start with the smallest value digit, when we divide, we start with the largest value digit. In this three digit number, that is the hundreds digit. So first, we're going to divide the hundreds. Four hundreds divided by 16 equals zero hundreds with four hundreds remaining. Our quotient or answer has zero hundreds, so we do not need to write it in because we do not use leading zeros in whole numbers. We subtract the zero hundreds, which we have already divided, from the four hundreds we started with, which leaves us with four hundreds. These four hundreds are exchanged for 40 tens and are added to the two tens from our dividend, giving us 42 tens. Next, divide the tens. 42 tens divided by 16 equals two tens with a remainder of 10 tens. So we write a two in the tens column of our quotient or our answer. The remaining 10 tens are exchanged for 100 ones and are added to the four ones from our dividend, giving us 104 ones altogether. 104 ones divided by 16 equals six ones with eight ones remaining. So we write a six in the ones column of our quotient. The eight remaining ones are exchanged for 80 tenths. The dividend doesn't have any tenths, so we can put a zero in the tenths column of the dividend. So we have 80 tenths in total. Next, divide the tenths. 80 tenths divided by 16 equals five tenths with zero tenths remaining. So we write a five in the tenths column of our quotient. Because we have zero remaining, our calculation is complete. Therefore, 424 divided by 16 equals 26.5. Now it's your turn. Let's work through the method step by step. You can unpause after each step to make sure that you're on the right track. Divide 846 by 15, giving your answer as a decimal. How would we set this out as a long division calculation? Pause here and have a go using squared paper to help line up the place value columns if you can. This is how the calculation should be set out. Now we can start the calculation. Pause after each step to give it a go before checking if you are correct. Start by finding the first 10 multiples of 15. First, divide the hundreds. Eight hundreds divided by 15 equals zero hundreds with eight hundreds remaining. Next, divide the tens. Don't forget to include the tens from the dividend as well as any that have been regrouped from the hundreds. 84 tens divided by 15 equals five tens with nine tens remaining. Next, you're going to divide the ones. 96 ones divided by 15 equals 90 ones with six ones remaining. Now regroup the remaining ones as tenths and divide the tenths. 60 tenths divided by 15 equals four tenths with zero tenths remaining. Therefore, 846 divided by 15 equals 56.4. Now it's time for a challenge. Can you use the method that we've just practiced to solve this problem involving money? Ruth has £364 to share equally between her 16 grandchildren. How much will they each get? 
Be careful with this one, only stop dividing when your remainder is down to zero. How did you get on? Did you keep going and regroup the remaining tenths as hundredths? What is the answer to the problem? That's right, each of Ruth's grandchildren got £22.75p. I hope that this video has helped you to use the long division method, giving the answer as a decimal. If you're looking for any more division videos just like this one, make sure you head to the Twinkle website to check them out. See you next time.